Okay, we don't start over again. <laughs> Just like these these segment uh, segmented videos, we keep going. So E, we don't start over again. E doesn't go to C um, per se. Then we have D, two, three, four. D goes to C. Okay, so that's it. Um, now when we're going in, when we're going in fourths. C goes to E, E goes to C, with nothing in between. So this is your this is your missing fret there, but you don't have it. It it doesn't line up the same way it lines up on on guitar. So it's you know, but it's still a missing a missing um, kind of note. But it's a bookend. It, it's a bookend. It, there's not there's no big deal about it. Anyway, if you're going in fourths, you go to C to E, but in caged, E goes to D to C. Now, keep in mind, if you know, if we're going down the fretboard, we're going the uh, in a increasing pentatonic scale: C to D to E to G to A. C. E. I think I'm going to have to, like, put some plastic bags inside my violin or something to damper the sound, you know, because I think that's what what uh, my greatest fear is, is how how squeaky and loud and are the birds going to, uh, my cockatiels are going to go nuts if I get a, a fiddle. The fiddle is a violin, but it's different. It's a... Uh, I think I'm only going to buy a violin, but that's that's because I'm more more traditional. I, I play a classical guitar. I don't play a banjo, you know. But fiddle and violin have the same theory. <coughs> position one. <coughs> position one is away from the from the fiddle nut. Okay, but there's still an open position. They call it the half position. I call it open position. And the reason why they call it half position is because you don't have to use your finger to get the first note. And this is what violinists are, are calling the positions, is where your fingerings go. So, you know, this is, so these are all made to be fingered in four notes and this is wonderful because it, it you know I tend to, people tend to want to play guitar with just two fingers you know just two fingers you know but you got to play these um, these diatonic uh, scale fragments or, or I call them fiddle string shapes. They're basically dual string shapes. So in guitar, when we do string shape, C string shape, and that shares a G with the A string shape, and that shares a, an A with the with the G string shape. By the way, that would be six, seven root in any key. G shape. that became an F minor so then I went down and played my groove chord the groove chords just your favorite you know set the mood and then work on <clears throat> work on the <clears throat> the scales and things up above that you're working on over it playing over it they call it they call it playing over it you don't have to literally play something over it you can just go and stop and it just keeps in someone you know it keeps in their mind then you can then you can play your your minor chord <clears throat> so this is these are long patterns you can practice them on the guitar i mean it's not it's not like 
I, I'm not sure how the fiddle goes. I, I, I guess you, you put it like this. <laughs> this is nuts. This is nuts. You know? It, it, you're going to play it like that. So it, you can play some top string stuff and just do like, you know, five, six, seven root. Again, you can slide. But you're going to be like... What I want to teach you <coughs> more than technique because I don't have a fiddle yet so it's not fair for me to really speak with any experience at all. I just watched a YouTube um, and I would recommend it's called violinlounge.com <laughs> I would recommend that uh, you get you get a free violin chart and everything but believe me this what I got right here uh, is going to show love to you good, you know. This is pretty much the same theory. I, I looked at a, a couple of different theory books and uh, <coughs> and uh, came up with this. Everybody agrees on where the notes are. The positions, well, I, I made my own. I mean, I, I used the same positions. Remember, over here, say position one, Start six, seven, root two. How many strings in the in the uh, instrument? Four. So you're gonna go four strings. Six, three, seven, five. It's gonna go over. So position one is six, three, seven, five. There. Let's look at that. Position one, six, six, three, seven, five. Now again, I. I, I just was working on this today. I, I apologize for um, not cleaning these up. I, I will do it, uh, you know, when I when I get to. Uh... So that's the the actual. If, if you saw that difference in the in the pattern stack, because what we want is just full string shapes, double string shapes, full double string shapes, six seven root. 7 root 2. Easy as pie. 6, 7 root, 7 root 2. 6, 7 root, 7 root 2. But now in violin, you go up a fifth, it's 3, 4, 5. It's C to A shape. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to go up here. So it's... Then E to D shape. how quickly it goes to the to the right when you play violin patterns on the guitar <clears throat> these are the patterns <coughs> it gets really long when I tried to do the whole thing I had to go two screen it was about four feet long on my display that's why I'm always looking up now what I've done here is <coughs> I've fashioned a a, um, a root arpeggio chart root Ionian you've all seen these things before root 3 5 and it's minor 6 3 root I kind of tried to make a little a little minor square because that's the only thing we have to add into it and then you don't play the 5 with the minor so the minor 6 3 root you don't play the 5 but there's the minor this is the major one I'm sure eventually we're gonna we're gonna get dragged through all everything. <clears throat> but here, this is the key to finding these chords. Remember, the arpeggios are easier than chords sometimes <clears throat> because you can do on-string intervals. So here we have it all. This is this is the this is the fiddle fretboard. Here's root. Here's three, and here's five. <clears throat> Well, let's look at root and let's just take it to the left root three five I mean that is a long chord you, you can't play that you can arpeggiate it but you can't play it you can't play it as a chord five root three same thing elongated and three 
five root elongated first